Welcome back to Harvest Stella. We just got to day 12 and I think we're going to get our field upgrade as soon as we wake up. So very much looking forward to that as well. Uh, we got a letter from Estinia. So, oh, this is a main story. Oh, yay. We got some different main story things going on here as well. So that's exciting. We get to see some different things. There we go. Refurbish the farm to level two. So now our farm should be much bigger hopefully. At least I'm hoping that's what happens so we can do more things. Ah, there we go. Very nice. We can get rid of these rocks. We can actually plant more stuff at last. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. Let's get rid of these nasty rocks here. Get out of the way, you horrible things. Get rid of these things over here. There we go. All right. Good stuff. I'm excited to plant some more things and see like how much we can grow. It's going to be pretty awesome. We got a lot of like paprikas to harvest as well. So we're going to do that too. Let's like harvest all of these. Oh, it's so satisfying just to see her harvest so many. <laughs> pretty awesome. All right. Just water all the crops now. There we go. Very nice. And this side too. We've got all these to water. I might have to do a little bit of extra watering and farm work today. But that's okay. Alright, cool. That's all done. We're going to put a paprika in there. I will keep the high quality stuff that we've got. And we're going to sell those paprikas. And we're going to put down some of these makers. We've got quite a few of these makers here and gonna grow some more summer crops so we're gonna plant those what else do i have tomatoes carrots uh i don't know if we're gonna have enough room for grass i might put some down but i guess like we will see i guess um where am i gonna put um all these things I would have put like all of the makers at the back, but there's just like not much room. Um, I'm going to put them at the back wall here. So let's do that. I'm just going to install them all across this row or at least as many as I can. So I got quite a few cheese maker. What else have I got? Um, stupid rocks are in the way. So annoying. I might put one here, put one here. Here we go. And we have any more i got the sprinklers um can't put them like do they need like their and like an entire square i don't know how these work exactly just put it here let's try putting it here and uh we'll see how how this works i feel like taking up an entire square is kind of like <gasps> i didn't mean to put that there oh no that was an accident I didn't actually mean to do that. Oopsie. <laughs> that was a, an accident. Oh, I was trying to get this out and I just couldn't find the button for it. You can't put stuff underneath it, can you? I'll put them right next to each other. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> Is there no way to pick these up? How do you pick them up again? I think I actually don't know how you pick them up. Oh, you smash them like this. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. And you could just you go back in my inventory. It goes back in your inventory. Oh, okay, so it's not a big deal if you accidentally like put them in the wrong place. I guess that would be how you pick up machines as well. So I always wondered how you do that. There's no point in no point in really moving them at the moment though. So I don't really have a good place for them because it's just like wherever I can shove them at this point. There's no charge for this, is there? Oh, there is a charge for it. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. That makes things a lot easier. Let's charge it up. Then we want to do all the squares. Definitely. <laughs> this little, little fairy is a little crazy over here. All right. There we go. See what else we can do here. It's much faster than, you know doing it like what one square because you have to press it like twice or something it's a pain so I have to press it twice so much faster if I just charge it up time is precious in this game after all 
So I wish I could till in different like locations instead of like just like you know <laughs> next to each other like that but hey it's fine okay I think that's everything so now let's get planting because I got garlic seeds so we're gonna plant all these oh, I could probably charge it couldn't I can I charge it yeah I think I can charge it charge it like that there you go much faster and we got tomato seeds so let's charge those up hi yeah <laughs> take that <laughs> crazy crazy fairies and we got some carrots to put down as well so can I not put it there did I not till that did I not till this one I thought I did it's not tilled oh it's not tilled weird <laughs> I thought I tilled that spot but apparently I didn't <laughs> that's okay though lots of farming to do today it's nice because I feel like I don't spend that much time farming so it's really nice to actually spend a little bit of time doing it. All right, there you go. Oh, there's one more, one more spot here, I think, and maybe at the back as well. Put one here as well. Yep, one at the back as well. Good stuff. Just plant those. I don't think there's any more squares though. I think the field is completely filled at this point. But that's okay. I keep forgetting that you can just hold it and <laughs> you don't need to like keep letting go of the button. All right, let's till, I mean, let's water all of this. Beautiful. I'm guessing the sprinklers work in the morning. I'm guessing that's how they work. But yeah, that's everything done for now. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go and sort out the farm animals. I think this is the longest time, you know, that it's taken me to do farm work in this game. <laughs> the days are getting on a little bit here but that's all right. Hey little guys, here to get all the produce from you dudes. Very nice and uh, probably store a little bit but not too much. Do I need those eggs? I don't think I need those eggs. I want to keep this though and I'm going to use the smoker to smoke these eggs just to see what happens. I've never done it before. So one of those in there. I don't think I've got any materials for these. I think you can use vegetables for one of those. So let me just check a second. I'm going to get rid of those eggs and we're going to store those and vegetables. I got cheese. I think there was a cheese maker, wasn't there or something? I think there was. Um, let me see. What do I have a lot of? Carrots. Let's take some carrots out. I think you can put meat in the smoker as well can't you I can put carrots in here make carrot jam <laughs> sounds a bit weird but <laughs> whatever we'll make it because like why not I guess uh yeah so let's like see how that turns out like when it's when it's done I'm intrigued uh let's go and check out the water side biome see if anything's changed don't think I need to do anything over here, but it's sprouting so that's cool good to see good good to know I'm happy about that all right then, um, so how much money do I have? 2.9, probably are not, not enough to like do anything. So I'm not gonna bother going to the town actually. We're just gonna go straight ahead with some story stuff. I think that would be good. What should we start with? Let's have a look. Homecoming, um, we've got to go to castle. We'll, we'll do that last. I want to get some of these done first. Let's see. Uh, let's keep going with the the Asiel ones. I'm actually really intrigued about that one because it's got Tiala in it, and I'm wondering like I how she's there. <laughs> I'm really curious about what's going on with with that quest line actually. Um, so am I going into Heaven's Egg? Where am I going? Check the letter. Oh, did I not read his letter? Oh, I thought I did. <laughs> Doll, just wasted a little bit of time there. That sucks. I'm already on like 3 p.m. So that's a bit Welcome of a pain home. in the butt. Yeah, I guess I forgot to check my mail. Easy to forget though, I suppose. That's all right. Okay, how are you doing, Mosi? It looks like you carried out some remodeling works on your farm. It comes to think of it, the farm hasn't undergone any maintenance since the last person moved out. I apologize for leaving you on your own to manage that, but I hope you take it in your stride. So I got like a lot of seeds, cool. 
All right, um, this is from Asio. I haven't been able to get the, that girl from the Heaven's Egg out of my head ever since I got back to town. I guess this whole thing isn't over after all. So he wants me to go back to Heaven's Egg. And this is from Estenia. I'm hoping you'd come speak with me again. It isn't about being head teacher this time, but I still like your advice. Please meet me at the Najord Step. Oh, it's a bit of a weird place to meet, but sure, I can do that. Sure thing, girl. Okay, let's go and first meet with... I want to go meet with um, Asiel first. It's already tracked, so that makes things a bit easier. So yeah, just going to go into Heaven's Egg here and see what all the fuss is about. These quests usually aren't too long anyway, so it's fine. I don't know where he wants me to meet though. Who knows, should we go to the very last area and see if he's over here? Could be in the exact same place as last time, maybe? I'm not too sure. Let's check it out, though. Let's go see if he's down this way. Maybe. I think he's going to be in the same place, isn't he? I don't remember where that was. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um, I went through, like, one of the... One of the portals. Here? Oh, here it is. So from the wet footprints, you go backwards, and then you get to uh, this lab place right here. All right, let's see... Let's see what she says then. Multi, hello, I'm sorry for calling you, but I can't get Tiella out of my head. You're obsessed. <laughs> I've been thinking about her too. Let's see if she returns. You have? It would probably do us both some good to talk about it then. Hmm. But I can't find hide nor hair of her. Hmm. Like, I'm thinking it was like some weird like fragment of her memory or something. Do you think she's deeper in? Uh, possibly. You came again? You must really want to see me. Oh, she is here again. Oh, interesting. That voice. You're Tiella, right? Oh, <laughs> she just like lives here now. I'm so happy to see you. Truly. Hmm, how mysterious. There's no need to stare. I'll tell you whatever you need to know, Asiel. I have so many questions, but first, you need to tell me who you are. You look like her and sound like her, but you're not Tiella, are you? You can't be. Is this like a clone? Or something? Ah, I see. So it was you who killed her. I mean, he hadn't. He didn't have a choice. <laughs> Guess the jig is up. You got me. I'm not Tiella. I am. Um, I guess you can just call me Otella. You look just like she's like a clone, I guess. There was another one made. Wow, no need to look so disappointed. Does my appearance really bother you that much? There's a reason I look like her, you know. Are you twins? Well, go on then. Why do you look like Tiella? Because I'm just like her. I'm another biological unit created to control the dragons. You could call me a backup, I guess. Ah, a backup. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> exactly, which is why I look just like her. From the roots of my hair to the tips of my nails, every facet of me is an exact replica. I was made exactly in her image. So you're an artificial human. I guess, like, I just thought that Tiella was still alive when I first saw her. Oh, yuck. You don't have to say it like that. I mean, it's true, though, isn't it? <laughs> How else are you meant to say it? Although, you're not completely wrong. I was born inside one of these cultivation pods, after all. Right. You know, there used to be a lot more Tiellas back in the day. It's like an army of Tiellas just waiting to attack. <laughs> craziness you mean besides you and tiella herself it's turning into like near automata or something <laughs> yep although everyone was decommissioned before we were ever used uh you came out all right then why are you here let's find out her objectives i was due to be decommissioned like the others but alas La lady luck was not on my side what does that have to do with luck I mean, isn't it lucky that you didn't get decommissioned? Isn't that just like when you, they, they get, like, broken down? Coincidentally, I was kept alive in a state of suspended animation. And thanks to you, I finally woke up. You see, I was activated as the backup after Tiella died. Ah, that makes sense. You mean you woke up when I killed that giant dragon? Bingo! I was the unit in the best shape, so I ended up drawing the short straw. And so here I am, with no essential dragons left to, to control. So she's like got no purpose. You're really not Tiella. 
Well, I'm drawing data from her memory recordings. But no, I'm not Tiella. I'm Otella. Do try to keep up, won't you? <laughs> How rude. <laughs> so you've been controlling the monsters. Is that why they've been coming out of the egg? You mean the little dragons? Yeah, that was me. But why? I wanted to see you, Asil. Why me? Tiella really likes you. You seemed super important to her. Like, there are, uh, are extremely vivid memories of you and Tiella's data where there should be empty space. So it's hard not to be a little curious. The famous Asil, who Tiella found to be so important. So you controlled the monsters to lead me in here. You know the people in town have been scared witless about this. But nobody was hurt, were they? I made sure of that. Still, that's like pretty, pretty bad tactic. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> like, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit evil. <laughs> ah, what a shame. Huh? I was really expecting more from this meeting. Butterflies in the stomach, maybe? Do you, do you get those as a robot? Ah, too bad. I can only blame myself for setting my expectations too high. She's weird. <laughs> it's a very weird robot. No use in crying over spilt milk. That's how the saying goes, right? Sure is. Hey, w wait a minute. What are you going to do now? Good question. What would you do if I told you, Asil? Tell me no. Give me orders and tell me to behave. I think I'd much rather go ahead and do whatever I feel like doing. No, wait, that's not what... <laughs> Relax. First thing I'll do is clear out the dragons. I got what I wanted out of them anyway. See you later, Asil. You too, Malsi. It was interesting meeting you. What is she going to do? Is she just going to, like stay here and just like do nothing why didn't she just go back to nemia she should i can't believe there were backups so is that it are we done here i feel like we should bring her back to the town i guess all we can do is tr is trust what she says okay <laughs> so what now otella said she would call off the dragons which makes me feel like that issue is done and dusted i guess we should be happy about that much uh, I don't feel very happy. <laughs> I, will, I don't want to leave her here. Same. There's so much I still don't understand. Hmm. All I can do now is return to Nemia. There's nothing left to investigate. Okay. Are you ready to go? Thanks for all your help. Like, you're welcome, but it feels just really weird just leaving her here. Even if she isn't Tiella. Like, she's gonna have, like, no purpose and... Wouldn't she, like, she would either shut herself down or, like, turn evil and, like, go on a rampage and start killing people. She would get bored. <laughs> what was she going to do? Just roam the halls here. She would be, like, so insanely bored. I swear, it just wouldn't be good <laughs> for anyone. At least I don't feel feel like it would be. Um. So, yeah, next quest we're going to do is with Estinia. So we're going to head to the... The George step, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just like overthinking things with this quest. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so going to the center would probably be the closest location, I would assume. So I gotta go this way up the little ramp so that we can get to her. I'm gonna run out of stamina. No, I did do a lot of farm work, so that's probably where all my stamina's gone, to be honest. But that's okay. We don't really need stamina anyway. I'm just going to run all the way. Is it below? Oh, I don't know if it was supposed to be below or not. I'm not too sure. Oh, no. I'm on the right track. Okay, good. wasn't sure if I went the wrong way. Is that a treasure chest? Oh, it's open. It's fine. I was going to say, I thought I missed one. <laughs> but nope. That's okay. All right. Why do you want to meet me here? This is a bit of a weird location to meet me. But all right. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Um, it's not the library today. Yeah, what's going on? It's a bit hard to talk about this inside the orphanage. Oh yeah? What's going on? Is this about your past? Probably is, right? It's about a troubling rumour that I've been hearing. Apparently someone has been going around senselessly attacking people in a nearby village. Oh, there haven't been any fatalities yet, but the person doing it is elusive and appears unexpectedly. I see. Victims say that she's a lady with long hair dressed all in black. Oh, you have an impersonator. Oh, okay. And she calls herself Shadow Assassin. Sounds familiar. <laughs> it's not her, obviously. Uncanny, isn't it? Let me just put this out there before we continue. 
This whole thing has nothing to do with me. I mean, obviously. The person doing this is just using my name. Okay, who would do such a thing? Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe someone who, like, looks up to her. Although, I hope that's all it is. The thing that bothers me most is that she's not only using my name, but my likeness as well. How does she know you? <laughs> I thought she was, like, quite, like, hidden and, like, nobody knew who she was. If she knows who I am, then given what she's doing, it's probably a stunt to lure me out. I see. But that's impossible. They don't know where I am. I haven't heard anything from them all this time. What could they want now? Uh, who are they? What are you talking about? Are, are you, like, in some weird assassin guild? <laughs> She's in, like, shadow assassin guild. Sorry, forget I said that. The truth is, I still don't know who's behind all of this. Okay. But I can't just let it go on. It can't be co by coincidence that she chose the name Shadow Assassin. So, Morty, could you help me find this person? Sure. If we leave her to continue, she might come and attack Nemia. I don't want anyone at the orphanage getting in danger. That's the only thing I must not allow to happen. I won't let anything interrupt the children's peace and happiness. Of course I'll help. Do you even need to ask, girl? Thank you. For now, I'm going to go away and gather more information. I'll get back to you as soon as I find out anything. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Some nice rewards there. So I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to continue with this. But that's okay. Um, so now, uh, we're done with all of those, so I think I'll continue with this side quest that I couldn't do last time. Hopefully I can do it now. I couldn't do it yesterday. I'm hoping I can do it this time. It just depends if I'm able to go into the, the tavern or not. So, <laughs> I guess we will have to see. I'm just gonna walk over to this warp point over here. It's not too far away, so I'm sure we can just walk the walk. <laughs> it's fine. Stop attacking me, you crazy creatures. You crazy creatures. Uh, let's go to the left a side. I think this would be the fastest way, actually. And then all the way down to Shatola. Let's do it. See if we can continue with this quest line. That would be great. I don't know if there's a portal that would like bring us closer to... No, I think we're just going to have to walk. That's fine, though. It's all good. All right, let's head into the tavern, hopefully, if I'm allowed in, that is. Please let me in. Can I go in, please? Oh, I can go in today. I couldn't go in yesterday, but I think it was because of the, the, the relationship quest I was doing. Okay, so we're trying to hunt down a little sister for some dude. What's that? You're searching for someone? Well, I'd be happy to help however I can. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's you, isn't it? Yeah, I know her. Oh, it's not you? But what's it to you? I've never seen your face. You've never seen my face around here. I'm always in here. <laughs> so her brother asked you to come and find her? Sorry for bussing in. I was just looking out for her. Um, okay. So nothing happened to her? Huh? Hmm. Nothing bad has happened to her that I know of. Maybe you should go and talk to her. She's usually working by the pier. Okay. Did, does she not like her brother or something? Like, I don't even know. <laughs> Guess we will find out. It looks pitch black out there. <laughs> My god. It really is dark. For sure. Um, the pier. So down this way. Good to know. Let's go and see if we can find out any information from this girl over here. I don't think we know her, right? I don't think we do. Alright, hello. Is there something I can help with? Yep. Uh, Todd? Uh, oh no. Miss Skella? Who are you talking to? Oh, did she, like, get married or something? Has. I guess I have some explaining to do. Hmm. Did something happen? I reckon it's, like, some weird thing where, like, the brother's got some weird sister complex. She got married and she's, like, scared to tell her brother or something. I don't know. Miss Keller's older brother is worried and asks you to come out and check up on her. Right. Miss Keller, this is the first time I've heard of you wanting to go home. She lied to her brother. I I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Uh, why won't you return? Let's see what she says. I'm scared to tell Todd about my relationship with Haz. I knew it. <laughs> Miss Geller and I have been seeing each other for the past year. I've mentioned to her several times that I'd like to meet her family, but... Yeah, it, I think... 
I think what clued me in was when the brother said that his, her sister has the face of an angel, and I was just kind of like, hmm, it's a bit of a like bizarre thing to say. <laughs> You haven't told them a thing about us, have you? I was, like, I, I thought I was just reading too much into it, though. I'm sorry. But you see, Todd, he... He's... To say he's protected of me would be an understatement. Ah, uh, I see. He's the kind of man who would refuse to let me marry. Uh, oh dear. I mean, he's just... He's like, it's just your brother. It's not that big of a deal if, like, he says no. <laughs> just marry him anyway. So that's why you always change the subject whenever I talk about meeting your family. Still, this is all my fault. I didn't have the courage to face Todd and tell him the truth. Oh, Miss Gala. Uh, would you prefer to stay here? Like, I don't know. I have to go back. He's worried enough to send a stranger to come and check on me. It's only right that I stop trying to run away from the situation. Then I'm going with you. We'll confront your brother together. All right. Well, what? But, but I'll come with you. Let's do it. Thank you. Haz and I will head home and pack our things. Meet us at the entrance to Jade Forest. Okay. I hope this goes well. <laughs> I really hope so. But we will see. All right. Let's go to the entrance and see what's going on. I hope he accepts the fact that she is got married and she's growing up and she's moving on oh my gosh jade forest why the entrance to jade forest though aren't we going to nemia you're not having cold feet are you you're not having second thoughts okay let's go i'd like to clear the forest before it gets dark i don't know if you've noticed but it's already dark <laughs> don't you worry no matter what happens i'll protect you ah that's cute make a cute couple adorable and yet, we were at each other's throats when we first met. Oh, really? I teased you relentlessly when you first arrived in Shatola. Don't forget the time I threw you into the sea. We were awful to one another. Oh, man. Imagine my surprise. Me, a member of the Vigilante Corps, thrown into the sea like I'm nothing. <laughs> I guess that wasn't very nice. Yeah! Someone help me! Uh-oh. That's her brother, isn't it? Did you hear that? Sounds like someone's having trouble with a monster. Alright. Leave it to me. I'll be right back. Oh, well. I mean, that's gonna work out if he saves the brother. Uh, we should go with him. Let's go. Why are we standing around waiting? <laughs> it's like someone runs off and, like, towards monsters and we're just standing there like, We should go help. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> so strange. Alright. Let's go save the bro. Hey bro, what you doing? Came all this way, huh? Eh, please don't eat me. I taste terrible. Todd? Oh my gosh, that's your brother? No, I can't just die before I see Miss Keller one last time. Oh man, come on, we have to help him. Alright, has you grab Todd? Yes, perfect. That's the best way to do it. Send it, like... He'll be indebted to him and have to allow him to, you know, get with the girl <laughs> or something. Oh, I haven't got stamina, so like, uh, just need to eat this meal or something. That will do. These are really weak enemies anyway. Level 16 bloom. I'm like level 30, so we shouldn't have any problems with this. All right. Oh, oh wow, that's a new skill. I haven't even used that skill before. I have to get real close to the enemies when I use that then. That's good to know, so I wasn't sure what that skill did. Probably had that for a while and just never used it, because that's how I roll. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Awesome. Done. Let's see what happens with the rest of the storyline then. I, I'm still alive. Todd. All's well that ends well. Miss Gala, why are you? That's what I should be asking you. What were you doing here on your own? Uh, I left so you wouldn't do this. Yeah, you. You silly person. I had to. I was too worried. So that's why you did something so foolish? I'm sorry, I ended up making you worry. At least he's safe now. Things could have gotten a lot worse. Mm-hmm, that's right. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I have no idea who you are, though. Ah. Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. 
Seriously, who are you? And why are you with my sister? Well, um, you know. <laughs> this is awkward. Hmm. Has he worked it out? How's about we all head back to Shatola? I'm struggling to keep my thoughts straight out here. Might be an idea. <laughs> Bit dangerous here, isn't it? I should go and tell him when they're nice and safe. Alright, can I use a bomb here? Uh, it's a level 2 bomb, unfortunately, so I'm not able to do that, which sucks. It's okay, though. Alright, well, let's leave then, I suppose, and we'll go see how this quest ends, because I think this is the last part of it, so yeah, let's do that. To Shatola we go, and where is the quest exactly? Level 3? What? How do you get up there? I'm not even sure how you get there. Um, interesting. Maybe I go over here? Let's see, this goes here. No, we don't want to go there. I don't even know if I've been to this level 3 place. Or even go there. Uh, did I go to the wrong town? I didn't go to the wrong town. I just never, I've just never been that way. Um, okay, I'll just have to figure out where to go. Oh, I found a doll! Like, around this corner. I didn't even know there was a doll here. I guess I haven't really explored these areas in Shatola, to be honest with you. Uh, that's okay though. I don't think there's anything else, like, down here. I honestly don't know where I'm supposed to... supposed to go. Okay, I think I found it. So, in order to get... you have to go through this, like, little cave, which is, like, right... right here. It's, like, tiny little... this tiny little alleyway. I've seen so many people online getting confused about how to... how to get to this location for this stupid quest. <laughs> so I'm not, like, the only one confused on how on earth you're supposed to get here. Uh, I don't know if I'm still going the right way here. I have no idea. I'm just going to keep following it round. Why do they have to make this so weird? Why did they put such a weird location for, like, the end of this quest? It's so weird, but okay. Um, finally got it, though. So, where to start? There's so much I want to ask. But I guess first I'd like to know why you never came back to Nemia. Oh boy, that seems fair. <laughs> How is she going to go about like explaining this I wonder it's no surprise that they're both struggling to find the right words after such an awkward reunion mmm they won't get anywhere like this excuse me I trust neither of you will mind if I say something first has all right he's gonna be the bigger man I still have no idea what role you play in this ah that's right well I'm here to ask you for your blessing Todd, may I have your permission to take Miss Keller as my bride? Oh my gosh, what's he gonna say? Ha has? D did you just say bride? Oh! <laughs> Straight to the point. I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry for not telling you sooner, Miss Keller. But I've been thinking about this for a long time. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Adorable. What's she gonna say? Todd, I feel the same way. I'm sorry for hiding our relationship. But it's not because I felt ashamed or anything like that. I was just too nervous to tell you, so I just kept running away from the situation. Please give us your blessing. They really do make a cute couple. Kind of put them on the spot here. <laughs> I've been wanting to say this since the first time I, I met you. Oh no. <laughs> he was like worried. Allow me to thank you once again, Haz. I'm truly grateful for you saving my life. I wonder if he still would have accepted him if he hadn't have saved his life. Mossy was there and that gave me the courage to face the challenge. Maybe, but in the end it was you who saved me. I'm glad Miss Skeller sounds found such a good man. Alright, I approve of your, of your marriage. Yay! However, I have conditions. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't worry, they're nothing too major. Condition number one. You write to me four times a day. Oh my god. In the morning, afternoon, night time and before bed. Holy moly. Condition two. You and Haz pray every morning facing my direction? What? That's so weird. Why facing his direction? 
<laughs> Condition three. I moved to Shatola, and of course my place has to be right next to yours. Oh God. <laughs> Her boyfriend needs to get out while she can, while he can. <laughs> what do you need that many letters for? But wait, there's more. Condition number four. Todd, stop. Oh man. <laughs> Hell no! I'd be running away. <laughs> that's that's way too much. <laughs> that's way too many restrictions right there. Oh god, I feel sorry for that guy marrying her. <laughs> He's gonna have to put up with that like obsessive brother for the, until the end of time. Dear Lord, I feel bad for him. All right, um. Put some stuff away here, all the seeds, and I think I'll sell the eggs. See you later. I don't think I need them, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of those. And if I've got time, I don't know how much time I've got right now because it's really, really late, but I'd like to make some return bells. Uh, so we've only got... Okay, so I'll just do an hour, and then, yeah, we'll go to bed because otherwise I'll probably collapse. Alright, there we go. Got three of those. Fine, Looking good. good. I also really need to make some more dishes as well. I'm like completely out of dishes. So that's something I also need to do too. But we uh, made a little bit of money there. So that is awesome. Very, very cool indeed. Alright then. Uh, sadly, we didn't actually get to um, go to the Castle Lewis. I wanted to go there. But we'll definitely do it next episode. Because we did a lot of other side things and relationship things today and also upgraded the farm the farm took quite a while so that took a lot of time out of the day and everything but it was still a very productive episode so i'm going to stop here for now thank you so much for watching i just want to say a huge thank you to all of my patreons and members for supporting the channel thank you so much i really appreciate it and if you are interested in donating there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it'll be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.